This is kind of an interesting find. This is a Kimbara Japanese made Gibson J200 copy, uh, probably pre lawsuit days. And uh, I've seen Kimbaras floating around on eBay, but I've never seen one of this particular model, so I don't know how many they made. Um, it's a spruce top with maple back and sides, which is fairly typical for these jumbos. Big rosewood bridge with the typical um, ornate bridge plate or, or scratch guard, pick guard, whatever you call it. This one's got a built-in sound hole pickup, piazzo pickup, uh, and crown, pearl crown inlays on a rosewood board with Grover-like, these are like 70s Grover-like tuners, but they're not stamped Grover, so they're probably co copies. A uh, custom um, cover there on the uh, truss rod opening, um, but a really nice big jumbo guitar with a lot of sound, a lot of really good boom on the bottom end. Um, very close to what I would imagine a J200 would sound like, so uh, they did a really good job back in these days emulating uh, these particular guitars. If anyone knows about these, let me know in the comments below. I've seen a lot of sort of uh, pre-lawsuit guitars made by Japanese companies in the 60s and 70s. I've owned a few. Never seen anything um, quite like this with this particular brand on it. I've seen others, but usually they're quite cheap copies. They don't have the physical properties of the guitar they're emulating. This one does, it really has a nice deep jumbo resonant tone. Um, and I would say this is probably worth every bit of 200, 250 pounds. It has had some issues. It looks like it had a neck crack here that has been repaired and is solid. And there is some wear along the sides of the binding uh, on the uh, fretboard. It is fully bound all the way through. Um, it's got the perloid decorations on the bridge as well, just like the originals would have. It does have some wear bits, as you can see on the corner there, and the bottom belt. Uh, there's a bit of a, a ding there, but otherwise it's quite clean. It's got the back seam on it. Um, I'll show you these tuners close up. Interesting looking, but this is the kind of thing that you can still see floating around eBay in the UK, um, these lovely Japanese copy guitars on this particular era. Uh, the pickup works really well. The action's really, really nice. It's got a great sound. The saddle's leaning a little bit, but other than that, there are no issues, playability issues with this guitar, and it rings for days. It really has a beautiful tone. So I thought I'd show it to you. I'm set, doing a setup on this one, um, and then it's going back to its owner. Um, I think who is who is then going to sell it. So uh, yeah, somebody will get this. I'm tempted to get it myself, um, but I would probably take it for half the amount he wants. But anyway, just thought I'd show it while I had it because it really is a, a lovely guitar. There's a shut the inside there of the sound hole. But a lovely guitar, a Japanese Kimbara copy of a Gibson J200 and um, with all the appropriate woods and parts. Of course, it's not identical, but it is a homage guitar, if you want to call it that. Um, yeah, fun to find these. All right, folks, let me know what you think in the comments and if you know anything about this brand or this era. All right, folks, see you on the next one.